Mace with phoenixlongevityarts.com and today for Tao Lu Thursday we're going to be focused on Zui Qian, the drunken style of Chinese boxing. And in Chinese boxing we try to mimic the movements of one of the eight drunken Taoist immortals. And so if one of you guys is really clever and can help me out, can you guys put the pinyin phonetic spelling of all eight of the drunken immortals down in the comments below and that would really be helpful to everybody. But this particular drunken immortal is named Cao Guo Jiu, and I'll put some information about Cao Guo Jiu in the about section below this video. Before we get started with the form, I want you guys to like this video if you guys like the drunken style. If you want to see more drunken style on our channel, hit the like button. Make sure to add this video to your favorites folder on YouTube and like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash jakemace dot tai chi and we're putting incredible videos and photos on Instagram. Follow me at Jake Mace Tai Chi. What you guys just saw in the segment before the quote of the day were the athletic skills you need in order to complete this particular form, kata or tao lu. And so this is a very short beginner version of the full Cao Guo Jiu form and it's a fun kind of potpourri of some of the basic moves but also some of the more athletic moves and I hope you guys enjoy it. We're gonna do it three times, once full instruction, once smooth and once full speed. Get up, let's do it. You guys gotta stand and you gotta get drunk. So you guys gotta kind of mimic the movements like you're a little tipsy. If I had one too many pints at the pub and you're starting to feel the earth move around you. And so we're not sloppy drunk yet, we're just kind of drunk enough that we're feeling loose, flexible, and we're kind of just giving in to the flow of life around us. And from here, kind of a sloppy bow, and then grab a cup and a tray, and take this right hand and offer the cup to your opponent in front of you, then take your tray and lift it, like you're kind of saluting the tray toward the gods. Then take your cup and drink from it, but bend back as far as you can and get that arch way back, way back, and hold it, drink from the cup. From that position, we let the cup come out, we slingshot forward, ha, and pop the person's joint of their arm, blocking in front this way. From here, lift the left leg and raise the hands up this direction, like this. I know it looks like Karate Kid, but it's not like Karate Kid, it's different. From here, we're gonna jump to the left, and bobble once. Jump to the right and bobble once. Jump to the left again, bobble once. And then from here, come back to a standing position, bring the forearms together, Boom! double punch to the sides. Then a small circle, open the hands, bah! double side hand this way. Take a drunken step to the left. Drunken step out, spin, circle it through and face this direction. So we did a 360 spin plus an extra quarter turn this way. From here, we're going to throw these cups back and kick the opponent in front of us. From there, offer the cups forward and kick this person back this way. After we do that, we bring the leg in and pour into our cup with the right hand. Then turn to the back, deflect with the right, chop down with the left with that cup. Nice bow stance, look at my bow. Nice and low. From that position, I retreat back to my original spot here and repeat that sequence. 
Throw the cups back, kick. Throw the cups forward, kick. But then I'm gonna spin this way and keep that leg in the air and offer the cups forward with the leg in the air. From here, I'm going to hook them in the arms, drop back, and shuck this person backwards as I kick him over the top. Up to my feet. And the way that should look is it should be a roll back, propelling back onto the feet this way. So once we come back up again, we tiger dive forward. I want you to get your legs as vertical toward the air as you can and lower yourself down slowly. Like that. Then I want you to catapult your legs forward. We call it a pike through. From here. From there, roll back and kip up. Onto the feet. After we kip up, you got a cartwheel back over the left shoulder with one arm. So we're gonna go over the left shoulder, cartwheel back this way. Then I'm going to hook this person's arms, drop to my back, give them a good stiff kick right in the chest, and then one final kip up onto the feet this way. Then drop to our shoulders and do a kip up roll through. Back up this way. And then after that final kip up, we've had too much to drink, too much movement. It's time I'm gonna pass out. Down to the floor. From here, we're gonna push up onto our forearms. And then jump around all the way back to the front. From here, I'm going to shoot my arms back. One, two, come up off of the cups back toward you guys. And bow. There's a lot of fighting applications in these drunken movements. But this form is short and sweet, great for beginners as an intro to drunken style. But things like the tiger dive and the pike throughs, I will show you in an upcoming video how they're used in fighting. But for now, please memorize the form and do it with all the energy you have. Let's do it one more time, a little bit smoother. A little tipsy, bow. Grab the cup, forward, tray, drink back. Pop this way, lift up, one, wobble, two, wobble, three, wobble. Forearms together, pa, circle, bang. Spin this way around, rotate through here. From this position, we're gonna throw back, kick. Throw forward, kick. From here, I'm going to circle the hand and pour. Turn to this side, deflect right, chop down left, spin back to this way. And then again, throw back kick. Throw forward kick. Spin this way here. Hook that guy. Come back, kick it around, back up to your feet. Once you're on your feet, tiger dive. Pike through. Rock back. Kip up back to your feet, number two. Look to the left, cartwheel over the top. Get to here, hook this guy. Drop, kick him, kip up number three. Then drop to our shoulders and do a kip up roll through. Back up this way. Oh, up to the floor. Go for it. From here, circle back. One, two, up. Wobbly and bow. Let's do it once full speed with no talking. 